fall in of Sodor when you meet your favorite engine friends. They always bring you great galore. Stay tuned for more that they can afford. Now with Thomas the Tank Engine and all of his friends who will make the series so bright. Put your buffers together, cause it's time for the Tommy and Trackmaster TNF Special. Thomas and Jenny. It was autumn on the island of Sodor. The engines were at the sheds. They were thinking about what they are thankful for. I'm thankful for the Express, because I set many records for pulling it all around the island. I'm thankful for Arthur and Hero, because when I'm busy somewhere else, they take turns pulling the Flying Kipper for me. I'm thankful for the color red, because red is my favorite color. I'm thankful for the troublesome trucks. Why the troublesome trucks, Edward? Because they have been behaving throughout the season of autumn. Oh! I'm thankful for the birds, because they sing so sweetly in the fall. I'm thankful for my mail cars, because without the mail cars, how will the mail be delivered on time? And Thomas, too, because he's my best friend. I'm thankful for my friends, because I work with you guys, and you guys work with me. So, thanks. You're welcome, Thomas. What are you thankful for, Toby? I'm thankful for Emily, because she does something nice for me. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, I have a special special for you. You are to take the invitations to places all over the island. The invitations must let everyone know about the feast. The invitations are at Maithwaite Station. Yes, sir. I'll be at Maithwaite right away. Thomas knows that he must let everyone know about the feast. So he left the sheds for Maithwaite Station. Thomas had arrived at Maithwaite Station. The Station Master was waiting for him. Hello, Thomas. Are you ready for your mail delivery? Yes, yes I am. I can't wait for the Thanksgiving feast. We'll have the mail vans loaded with invitations in no time, Thomas. Soon the invitations were loaded in the mail cars. The signal dropped and Thomas puffed away. Thomas delivered half of the invitations to some of the places, but he still has a long way to go. It'll take me a long time to get the job completed. I know! I'll take a shortcut through the whistling woods! The Whistling Woods is a woodland area on Sodor. It has a woodland waterfall, and it's home of Thomas's friend, the Snowy Owl. Woo! Woo! Hello, Snowy Owl! The Snowy Owl replied back to Thomas with a Woo! Woo! Then Thomas came to a junction. The signal light was red. He had to stop there. Oh, bother! Now how am I supposed to get the job done fast? I won't be able to make it back to Maithwaite Station on time. And then I'll be late for the feast. Then Thomas spotted an old branch line. This gave him an idea. Bingo! A shortcut! If I take that track, I'll be able to deliver the mail faster. And then I'll make it back to Maithwaite on time. So Thomas didn't wait for the signal to change to show that the line was clear. He took the old branch line instead. 
It hadn't been used in a long time. Trees hung over the track, and the bushes were overgrown. But Thomas puffed on. He was just nearly out of the old branch line until he came up to a big wall of bushes. Oh, bother! Now how am I going to get through this? Suddenly, Thomas heard a voice. Hello? Thomas looked around. There was no one there. Who's there? I am. Are you coming from the bushes? Yes. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Thomas puffed forward into the bushes. Then he gasped. <gasps> His eyes popped wide with wonder. There in front of him was a yellow diesel engine. Who are you? I'm Jenny, the yellow diesel engine. I came to Sodor to visit Stacy and Candace for Thanksgiving. How did you end up here? I took the old branch line and I came to a thick wall of bushes. I felt like it was a dead end. I backed up into a siding to turn around until I ran out of fuel. And that was where I got stuck here during the season of autumn. Fizzling fireboxes. That's sad. I know. I can help you out of this old branch line. Will you, Thomas? Of course. It's the only way I can do to help you. Oh, thank you, Thomas. That would be very thoughtful. So Jenny was coupled up to Thomas, and they went back down the old branch line. Thomas puffed down the old branch line. Not only that he has to finish this job, but he had to help Jenny. He whistled as hard as he could. Someone must hear me. So Thomas whistled again. Just then, as Thomas and Jenny were finally out of the overgrown line, they heard a boop boop. That's Gordon. It was Gordon. He was chuffing grandly towards them on the other line with the express. What are you doing, Thomas? Gordon, this is Jenny. I found her down an old branch line, and I have to take her to the Sodor Steamworks. Can you show me the way to it? Of course I can. Just puff down my express line. It's the fastest way. Thank you, Gordon. Bye, Gordon. On the way to the steamworks, Thomas and Jenny kept passing the Danville Locos as well as Thomas's friends. They passed Edward and Vanessa. And James, who was very surprised to see Jenny. Thomas puffed into the steamworks. His cheeks were as red as James's color. Hello, Thomas, my friend. What do you have there? Victor, this is Jenny. I found her down an old branch line, and I believe she needs some repairs and a new coat of paint. No problem, Thomas. We can fix engines and give them a new coat of paint. Can you take care of her and tell her I come and visit her tomorrow? Of course I can, my friend. We can keep her company. Now chuff along. You still have the invitations to deliver. Bust my buffers! I must hurry! So Thomas said goodbye to Jenny, delivered an invitation to Victor, and raced out of the steamworks to finish his job. 
Thomas clickety clacked down the track, this way and that, delivering invitations to the Thanksgiving feast. It took all day to finish the job. At last, the job was done. Thomas left the mail cars at Maithwaite Station and puffed back to Tidmouth Sheds. He was very tired, but at least he's been looking forward to a nice long sleep. But when Thomas got to the sheds, he saw Sir Topham Hatt. He had bad news. James has been sent to the steamworks to get his voice checked. Toby will sleep with you for tonight. You all have your own jobs to do tomorrow, and there are no other engines available. So I'll need an engine to take the slow freight train until James returns. Please, sir, can I take the slow freight train? I don't know, Thomas. You can't pull the freight train on your own. You'll need some help. An idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I think I know someone who can help me, sir. I just found her down an old branch line. Can I take you to the steamworks tomorrow to meet her? Yes, you can. So with that, Sir Topham had left and the engines went to sleep. The next morning, Thomas took Sir Topham Hatt to the steamworks to meet a new friend. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Thomas, my friend. Is Jenny ready? Yes, yes, she is. Jenny, come on out and see Thomas. <laughs> Jenny, you look splendid. Thank you, Thomas. Sir, this is Jenny. Jenny, this is Sir Topham Hatt. So, are you the new engine? Yes. Well, have you met James yet? He's just been sent here to get a new voice. Yes, Victor just introduced me to him yesterday. He's right in the back. <laughs> This is the BBC. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good then. Please, sir, can Jenny help me with the slow freight train? We'll be double headers. Yes, she can, Thomas. Thank you, sir. <laughs> At Natford Station, the slow freight train was ready. The shunter fastened the coupling, and when the signal dropped, Thomas and Jenny were ready. The conductor blew his whistle, Thomas and Jenny answered, and they started off. Come along, come along! Don't be silly, don't be silly! The freight cars shuddered and groaned. Trickety truck, trickety truck, all, all right, right, all right. right. That's better, that's better. <laughs> Clouds of smoke poured from Thomas's funnel into the air, and the train grew lighter. They were going well and green signal lights were shown as they passed. This is great, Thomas! It's nice of you to ask Sir Topham Hatt to have me help you with the freight train. Thanks, Jenny. But I'm sorry for James, because he had to get a new voice. If there's only a way we can do to make James happy. How about we can throw a party for James? That would make James happy. That sounds like a good idea, Jenny. If Sir Topham had agrees. Which reminds me, would you like to join me and my friends for the Thanksgiving feast? Oh, 
I would like to, Thomas. Thanks for asking me. And what are you thankful for? Oh, I'm thankful for you, Thomas. Me? Really? Why? Because you held me out of the old branch line, and you asked me to join you and your friends for the Thanksgiving feast. Oh, that's so thoughtful. After Thomas and Jenny had finished delivering the goods, they found Sir Topham Hatt at Natford Station. Thomas asked Sir Topham Hatt if they could throw a party for James, to make him happy when he will return with his new voice. As indeed he did. At Tidmouth Sheds, everything was ready. Thomas puffed in with Jenny. Hey everybody! This is Jenny! Hello everyone! I'm Henry. You have met me before. I'm Gordon. I'm Toby. Hello, Jenny. I'm Edward. I'm Emily. And I'm Thomas's best friend, Percy. Welcome to Sodor, Jenny. Thank you, Percy. The Danville Locos whistled hello to Jenny. And Jenny replied in return with a honk of her horn. Then everyone heard a familiar whistle in the distance. James steamed into the yard, looking better than ever. The engines surprised James with whistles, horns, and cheers. Welcome back, James! We missed you! Can we hear your new voice? <clears throat> ka -chow. Fizzling fireboxes! How did you get your new voice to sound like that, James? Well, just to explain it to you, they were out of high-pitched cowboy voices, so I decided to get a cool voice instead. Oh, well, a cool voice sounds fine with us. Yeah. Well, after the party, can we then have the Thanksgiving feast? Yes, of course we can. So everyone threw a party for James. <laughs> Let's have a party. James's welcome back party. We like to party. We like to party now. Wow! There's lots of fun to have with friends here at the party. Everyone is having a good time, and so are you. Let's have a party. James's welcome back party. We like to party. Thomas and his friends were glad that James had returned. So was James. After the party was over, all the engines were gathered for the feast. Sir Topham had held up his hand for silence. To start the Thanksgiving feast, would you all tell me what you are thankful for? Yes, yes sir. sir! I'm thankful for the Express, because I've set many records for pulling it all around the island. I'm thankful for Arthur and Hero, because when I'm busy somewhere else, they take turns pulling the flying kipper for me. 
I'm thankful for the color red, because red is my favorite color. I'm thankful for the troublesome trucks, because they have been behaving throughout the season of autumn. I'm thankful for the birds, because they sing so sweetly in the fall. I'm thankful for my mail cars, because without the mail cars, how will the mail be delivered on time? And Thomas, because he's my best friend. I'm thankful for my friends, because I work with you guys, and you guys work with me. I'm thankful for Emily, because she does something nice for me. I'm thankful for Ferb, because he's my brother. I'm thankful for Phineas, because we work together as brothers. I'm thankful for Edward, because he asks me to help him at Wellsworth Yard. I'm thankful for Jeremy, because he's the best. I'm thankful for Candace, because she's my best friend. I'm thankful for Diesel, because he helps me shut freight cars in the yard. We're thankful for Isabella, because she's our leader of the Fireside Girls. I'm thankful for Scruffy, because he and I are good friends. I'm thankful for Toby, because he asks me to look after Henrietta. I'm thankful for Mishti, because she's my cousin. I'm thankful for Baljeet, because we're good friends with each other. I'm thankful for James, because he made me a really useful engine. I'm thankful for Candace, because she asks me to help her. I'm thankful for the Steamworks, because without the Steamworks, how will Sir Topham Hatz's engines be really useful? I'm thankful for Vanessa, because she asks and thanks me for helping her shunt freight cars. I'm thankful for being nice, because it is not good to be a bad engine, and that is what I'm most thankful for. You all are probably wondering what Jenny is thankful for. Oh? What is it? What are you thankful for, Jenny? I'm thankful for Thomas, because he helped me out of the old branch line. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Sir, we meant to ask you a moment ago. What are you thankful for? Oh, no one has ever asked me that before. Well, I'm thankful for my really useful engines. Because you all worked very hard, and I'm very proud of you. Oh, thank you, sir. The engines whistled and honked in applause. Anyone ready to have some of the turkey? I am. The Thanksgiving feast was a success. Everyone agreed it was the best Thanksgiving ever.